When the game started, I told Kenny, I see you at halftime because he kicked off, played quarterback. He kicked the extra points. He kicked off return. He punted. He punted return. And he played defensive back. He didn't come off the field, you know, unless it was halftime or the end of the game. As a high schooler in Chesapeake, Virginia, Ken Easley had many talents. But one of those was particularly well suited for the NFL. His desire was to be a defensive back. He wanted to hit people. One of the things I had to do when he played for me was not let him hit people on our team. He'd get people hurt in practice, the next thing you know, we don't have enough kids to practice. So we had a rule, Kenny, no hitting people on our, on our side. You know, if they got our jersey on, you don't hit them. Easley's unique skills took him from UCLA to the Seattle Seahawks with a fourth pick in the 1981 draft where he quickly established himself as one of the league's top safeties. Touchdown Seahawks, Easley down the left side. Kenny Easley picked it off and went untouched. He's going to get there, and he's going to get there in a hurry, and he's going to get there in a bad mood. He was going to hit people hard. He was going to cause fumbles. He's going to intercept balls. He's going to be around the ball. Kenny Easley with his third interception tonight. What a great play, always in position. By 1984, Easley had become the backbone of the Seattle defense, and in that season, he accounted for 10 interceptions en route to being named NFL Defensive Player of the Year. Kenny Easley was a game changer. I guarantee you the first thing when a quarterback came up, he was saying, where's Easley? Because they would find him, and then they'd call a play away from him. They called him the enforcer, and that's what he did. Yeah, my play is rather intense and aggressive, uh, vicious type of play with uh, no malicious intent to hurt anyone in the football field. In seven seasons with Seattle, the enforcer was ultimately selected to five Pro Bowls and named to the NFL's all-decade team of the 1980s. Intercepted by Kenny Easley at the 45 and the 50. He's going all the way. But in 1988, a would-be trade to Arizona changed everything. I got a call, 3 o'clock in the morning, maybe. It was like, he's, you know, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. What's going on? You know, what are you calling? And he told me his NFL career was over. In the course of getting the physical, they discovered his kidneys were shutting down. That was a moment in time where he could have died. You see athletes every day who struggle when they're not playing. But Kenny didn't do that. I mean, with the adversity of dialysis, having a kidney transplant, it obviously had an impact on him, but it didn't stop him from being a good husband, a good father, a good child to his mother. I'm probably almost as proud of that as I am all the years of football and all the greatness he had on the field.